हेलो एवरी वन नाउ नेक्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ दी चैप्टर नंबर सेवन यूनिट नंबर थ्री डिजाइन प्रिंसिपल द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज डिजाइन प्रोसेस एंड द डिजाइन क्वालिटी सो सॉफ्टवेयर डिजाइन इज अ इटरेटिव प्रोसेस थ्रू विच रिक्वायरमेंट्स आर ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू अ ब्लू प्रिंट फॉर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग द सॉफ्टवेयर इनिशियली द ब्लू प्रिंट डिपिक अ holistic view of the software that is the design is represented at a high level of abstraction a level that can be directly traced to the specific system of ob- objective and more detailed data functional and behavioral requirements as design iterations occur subsequent refinement leads to design representation at much lower level of abstraction these can still be traced to requirements but the connection is most subtle so throughout the design process the quality of the evolving design is accessed with a series of formal technical reviews or design walk throughs so here are three characteristics that serve as a guide for the evaluation of the good design first one is the design must implement all of the explicit requirements contained in the analysis model and it must accommodate all of the implicit requirements designed by the customer next is the design must be a readable unreadable guide for those who generate code and for those who test and subsequently support the software third one is the design should provide a complete picture of the software addressing the data functional and behavioral domains from an implementation perspective so these are some design and the quality principles or the characteristics now the next one is the quality guidelines so we we are going to see some quality guidelines after for during the design in order to evaluate the quality of a design representation we must establish technical criteria for the good design so the guidelines are a design should exhibit an architecture that has been created using reorganizable architectural style or patterns is composed of component that exhibit good design characteristics and can be implemented in an evolutionary fashion thereby facilitating implementation and testing second is the design should be modular that is the software should be logically partitioned into elements or subsystem third one is a design should contain distinct representation of a data architecture interfaces and components fourth is a design should lead to data structures that are appropriate for the classes to be implemented and are drawn from recognizable data patterns fifth is a design should lead to components that exhibit independent functional characteristics sixth is a design model lead to interface that reduce the complexity of connections between components and with the external environments seventh is a design should be derived using a repeatable method that is derived by information obtained during software requirement analysis and the last one is or the eighth one is a design should be represented using a notation that effectively communicate its meaning these design guidelines are not achieved by chance design engineering encourages good design through the application of fundamental design principle systematic methodology and through review so there are some quality attributes the havlet packard develop a set of a software quality attributes that has been given the acronym so the quality attribute represent a target for all the software design so the quality attributes are basically some attributes such as functionality the functionality is accessed by evaluating the feature set of capabilities of the program the generality the functions that are delivered and the security of the overall system next one is usability it is accessed by considering human factor overall aesthetics consistency and documentation and reliability it is evolved by measuring the frequency and severity of failure the accuracy of output result the mean time to failure the ability to recover from failure and the predictability of the program
नेक्स्ट इज द परफॉर्मेंस इट इज मेजर्ड बाय प्रोसेसिंग स्पीड रिस्पॉन्स टाइम रिसोर्स कंजम्पन थ्रू आउट एंड इफिशंसी एंड सपोर्टेबिलिटी कंबाइंस द एबिलिटी टू एक्सटेंड द प्रोग्राम दैट इज एडेप्टिबिलिटी सर्वाबिलिटी एंड एक्सटेंसिबिलिटी दीज थ्री एट्रीब्यूट्स रिप्रेजेंट अ मोर कॉमन टर्म दैट इज मेन्टेनेबिलिटी इन एडिशन टेस्टेबिलिटी कंपेटेबिलिटी कन्फिग्रेबिलिटी दैट इज द एबिलिटी टू ऑर्गेनाइज एंड कंट्रोल एलिमेंट ऑफ द सॉफ्टवेयर कन्फिग्रेशन द ईज विथ विच अ सिस्टम कैन बी इंस्टॉल एंड द ईज विथ विच प्रॉब्लम कैन बी लोकलाइज नॉट एवरी सॉफ्टवेयर क्वालिटी एट्रीब्यूट इज वेटेड इक्वली एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर डिजाइन इज डेवलप वन एप्लीकेशन मे स्ट्रेस functionality with a special emphasis on security another may demand performance with particular emphasis on processing speed a third might focus on reliability that is regardless of the weighting it is important to note that these quality attributes must be considered as design commences not after the design is complete and construction has begun so there are some design principle we should need to follow if we want to design some a uh, good system these are from the devless that is the dev 95 the design process should not suffer from tunnel vision the design should be traceable to the analysis model the design should not reinvent the wheel the design should minimize the intellectual distance between the software and the problem as it exists in the real world the design should exhibit uniformity and integration the design should be structured to accommodate change the design should be structured to degrade gently even when abrogated data events or operating conditions are encountered design is not coding coding is not design so this is the main point design is not coding and coding is not design the design should be accessed for quality as it is being created not after the fact the design should be reviewed to minimize conceptual or the semantic errors so this is all overall your design principles and quality attributes and quality guidelines for your design process and design quality thank you